What if I tell you that if you are watching an IPL match, then you are actually remembering your microbiology? Then how is it so? You would that would be really insane for you that to even think that how can an IPL match would be helping you learning your as a topic as mundane as in microbiology? So in this video, I would make you understand and empower you to make your own mnemonics. What if I tell you that everything that you experience in your life can be used for memory purpose, and there is a specific method to this madness? If you are preparing for an exam that involves rote learning, like him or like her. My purpose is to empower you so that you can make your own mnemonics and are not dependent on someone else's mnemonics. But wait, why should I learn my own mnemonics then when we are getting mnemonics from the market like from coaching teachers or from textbook and they are tried and tested. So why should I make my own mnemonics? See, you should make your own mnemonics because whatever mnemonics that you are getting in market is largely are largely alphabetical mnemonics and alphabetics you tend to follow uh, for, you tend to forget it sooner rather than later. Why? Because you know that uh, our brain remembers the photograph much better than alphabets. So I would empower you to make pictorial mnemonics so that you can excel in whatever subject and in whatever field that involves road learning. Secondly, you should be empowered to make your own mnemonics because there are not mnemonics for each and every fact that you want to remember. For example, there would be uh, uh, there would be uh, some information that would be trivial for someone else, and he's being able to learn it easily. But for you, that information is really crucial, and you are forgetting it time and again. Then th those mnemonics are not present in the market, and you will need to make your own mnemonics. And number third, those mnemonics that are being catered to you, these are largely made out of someone else's experience. Why not make it out of your own experience? And when you make it out of your own experience, then th that mnemonics would tend to last longer. You would be thinking that. How is that possible? That how you would be able to make mnemonics? So let me explain it by an example. Uh, you would be remembering the tennis elbow is caused by the inflammation of the muscle extensor carpi radialis brevis. And very often individual students forget that whether it is the brevis muscle or the longus muscle. But if you remember that in 2003 and 4 around, Sachin Tendulkar was suffering from tennis elbow. And Sachin is not of a good height. So tennis elbow is associated with some muscle that is not of a, uh, that is shorter. That is Tennis elbow is caused by the inflammation of extensor carpi radialis brevis. Here, brevis means shorter and such an is short. So, by that path, you can remember that, okay, fine, extensor carpi radialis brevis causes tennis elbow. But if you don't know the information that Sachin Tendulkar was once suffering from tennis elbow, then you won't be able to remember this mnemonic. Then you would remember the fact that, okay, at some point Sachin was doing, and then you would uh, have to remember the fact that Sachin was at some point ill because of tennis elbow, and then the whole process of learning would start. So, that would be a really cumbersome for you to add another layer of information after having so much information to learn. So what I would suggest to you that is start making your own pictorial mnemonics. And in this video, I will talk about how to make those pictorial mnemonics. Well, there is an application called Procreate. In Procreate, uh, present on iPad, you have to buy this application. And once you buy this application, you will be able to edit the pictorial mnemonics according to your will and according to your choice. So let me again go again to the starting point that how can we, an IPL match would help you remembering the microbiology? Well. Here is it. Here is a task for you. Just remember these tests that what are the precipitation tests that you see in serological test in microbiology. Just I will read it for you. That is Ascoli's thermal precipitation test, streptococci grouping, Glansfeld technique, VDRL test for syphilis, slight flocculation test, Kahan test for syphilis, due flocculation test, Alec gel precipitation test for carnibacterium diphtheria. So all this would be very much confusing for you because it is difficult to remember that precipitation test is all and all the things related to it. So as I talked in the, as I said earlier, that first convert the name into something more relatable. So what I can say of Ascoli, now Ascoli can be converted to Kohli, Streptococci, let it be having chains, because they are basically cocci bacteria that, that are in chain. Now Kahan, you can substitute for Khan, and then we have Alec, that is Alexa. So. I have derived a relatable word for each. Now I have Kohli and Khan. Now I would go into the YouTubes and learn the and type Kohli and Shahrukh Khan IPA. Now I go onto the image. Now I go towards the part and I then use this photo. So now I get a picture of Kohli and Shahrukh Khan. And then I bring it to the Procreate app. Now after bringing it to the Procreate application, now I brought uh, now, I, now I have brought the uh, photo of Kohli and Khan. They are on a mat and they are going to dance. So now I would now remove the background so as to make it more look like according to your own, so that I can convert it according to my own surrounding that I feel comfortable with. 
not for Kohli and Khan. Now uh, that is Kohli as Kohli's and Khan for Khan test. Then now this is using I'm using Alexa. Alexa is for Alex gel precipitation test. Now I will clear out the background of Alexa. And by that I would be introducing it in the picture. Okay, now I've cleared it background. I have added to the photo in which both Khan and Kohli are dancing. And now I'm fine. Now what I'm doing, I am now creating this. Uh, look at the leg of Kohli and Shah Rukh Khan. I'm drawing a chain like red, red, like structure that is uh, it's stopping both the gentlemen from dancing. So this is what you can use of your imagination that uh, Kohli with Khan is dancing with the help of Alexa and their legs are tied to the chain and they are now dancing and this whole things are happening in a video. So now how can we remember this just by knowing that precipitation test is governed by this photograph then you can recall it in comfortably in the examination that okay kahan test as Kohli's test for Kohli kahan for khan for kahan test streptococci is the small chain like structure joining the legs of both the gentlemen and then we have alexa that will help in uh, in playing the music so that the gentlemen can dance and now this there is now for vdrl we can take video so this whole, whole thing is being captured in video so by that picture mnemonic you can recall that what are all precipitation tests associated what is the step of making what is the step of learning or making a visual mnemonic number one make the information palatable relate it to something that you see around self you in everyday life number one and then number second then bring those whatever surrounding that you are relating it with in a single photo screen and after that you bring it on a single photo screen what what you will have to do is to only watch that thing and remember that photo and you will remember it for a lifetime moreover why i am imploring you to do such things is you must have heard that confucius once said that i hear and i forgot i see and i remember and i do and i understand so when you are using the pictorial mnemonics for your understanding then also you can use this mnemonics when confucius says that when i do i understand by that he means that when you are doing when you are drawing the whole mechanism of the varicose vein then by that mechanism you are learning each and every process and that would be more organically linked in your memory and would be easier to recall and also revise during the examination so uh, if, if you are not making a mnemonic if you, if you are only using it for drawing the diagram as a step-by-step -step explanation for a certain process then also it is a very beautiful application which you can use and it can really help in boosting your studies and also uh, you all know harari says that humans think in terms of stories rather than in facts numbers or equation and simpler the story the better so whatever story that you jot down on a pictorial uh, on appropriate application whatever story that you are making because you are making your own story and some, uh, someone thinks right from your own life then it would be then you would be remembering it for much longer time. In the next video, I will be talking about how to use cartoons for making pictorial mnemonics if the response to this video is good.